Introducing new food to your cat isn't something you can do overnight. Many cats are fussy eaters, especially if they're approaching an older age or suffer from food allergies or other health conditions. Whether you're changing pet food brands, flavors within a brand, or switching your kitten to adult cat food, making the transition slowly will ensure your chances of success. Today, we will tell you how to transition your cat to a different diet. Number 9. Why is it important to change a cat's food carefully? Faced with a new sort of food, some cats can be wary. This avoidance behavior is called neophobia. It is believed that this behavior is a sort of protection against ingesting toxic or tainted food. This is why it's better to introduce new types of food in stages and to reduce any potential stress factors to avoid aversion to the new food. Changing your cat's kibble is a decision that takes thought and maybe even a call to the veterinarian for advice. Reasons for a change in what you present in the dish every day may be a cat with a health problem such as urinary crystals or diabetes may require a diet change as part of their treatment plan. Once kittens are 12 months old, they should be switched to an adult cat food. Cats seven years and older benefit from a switch to a senior or mature cat food. Cats that have a sedentary lifestyle due to arthritis or injury will require a new food, different from what an active cat needs. Cats who are pregnant or nursing need foods that provide extra energy. Number 8. Make the transition slowly. It's essential to make the transition from one food to another gradually. When a new food is introduced too quickly, a cat may experience problems. Lack of appetite, refusal to eat, vomiting, gas, diarrhea, constipation. Asking the vet for help may be necessary if you're transitioning your cat to a new diet for medical reasons. Discuss the process with a veterinary team to ensure that you're making the change properly, and especially if you anticipate your kitty may prove finicky with the change. The veterinarian can provide helpful advice. Number 7. Special Times to Transition Your Cat's Food Kittens should switch to an adult cat food at 12 months of age to ensure they're receiving proper nutrient levels for adult cats. For cats who are 7 years or older, they too should change to a mature adult or senior cat food that ensures that they are receiving the appropriate level of nutrients for that older life stage. Pregnant or nursing cats need energy-dense foods with increased calcium content. Be sure to transition them during this special time to a kitten food. Number 6. Out with the old, in with the new. It's best to change your pet's diet gradually and systematically. Transition your cat to a new diet by substituting a little of the new stuff for the old in your pet's usual meal. Swap out a little more at the next feeding and so on for seven days. Avoid giving your cat any treats or human food for at least six weeks while you're experimenting with the new diet. It may take up to 12 weeks to tell whether a new diet regimen is working. If your cat develops any new symptoms, talk to your veterinarian. Number 5. How to transition your cat to a new diet. Changing your cat's diet slowly is essential to avoiding an aversion to the food. Reducing added stress over a change in sustenance, especially if they're in the midst of a health crisis, is paramount to your furry friend's happiness, and lessening the chance of a gastrointestinal upset is ideal. The transition can take place over a period of 7 to 10 days. This is how it's done. Days 1 and 2. Mix 25% of the new cat food and 75% of the usual food your cat gets. Days 3 and 4. Change the mixture to 50% of the new food and 50% of the old food. Days 5 and 6. Fill your cat's dish with 25% of the old food and 75% of the new diet. Day 7. Your cat can eat 100% of the tasty new fare. If you anticipate a problem or your cat has special needs, consult the vet before starting. There is no harm in transitioning over a longer period either, if that is what will work best for you and your kitty. Some cats will need four to six days per mix combination instead of two or three. Keep an eye on your cat's behavior, weight, and stool quality to ensure the change is going smoothly. Of course, if your cat is refusing to eat, let the veterinarian know. Don't let your favorite four-legged friend go more than 24 hours without eating a meal. Number 4. Tips on changing from dry cat food to wet cat food. 
Because the texture, smell, and taste of wet food are quite different from dry kibble, you may need to do a little extra work to get your cat to transition. Stick to the same feeding time and place as always. Routine means a lot. Sprinkle the dry kibble on top of the wet food so your cat can adjust to the smell. Try mixing the dry food into the wet food. If the cat food is cold from the fridge, warm it up in the microwave. Check carefully that it's not too hot. Try adding Fortiflora, a palatable probiotic that can make the eagerly awaited edibles more appealing. Feed your cat wet food on a flat dish for easy licking. Engage your cat in fun play or a mentally stimulating training session to build their appetite before feeding. Always store your kitty's food properly to ensure maximum freshness and quality. In some instances, changing your cat from free feeding to a schedule will help. Start your cat on a schedule while still feeding the old food. Feed your cat two or three meals daily, removing the uneaten tidbits 20 to 30 minutes after your cat is done. Keep this schedule going to allow your kitty to get used to it. When you start the transition, be sure not to offer more than your cat would normally eat at one sitting. All things going well, your cat will happily eat the mixture. You can increase the amount to their normal intake as you are transitioning from the old food to the new. Number three, new cat food feeding tips. Provide privacy and a quiet eating area away from loud noises and other cats. Hand feed your cat, at least initially. The person offering the cat food should have a good relationship with the cat. Offer moist or canned cat food along with dry cat food. Ensure you store all of your cat foods appropriately to maintain the quality and freshness of the cat food. If moist or canned cat food has been refrigerated, warm to body temperature before feeding. Stir thoroughly to distribute hot spots that occur during microwave warming. If it's too warm to touch, it's too warm to feed. For canned cat food, offer it on a flat dish or saucer so your cat's whiskers don't brush against the side of the dish. It may help to initially place a small amount of warm, moist cat food near the edge of the dish so your cat can lick it easily. If your veterinarian has recommended a special therapeutic cat food for a specific health condition, please be sure to discuss transitioning her cat food in detail. There could be some special considerations, and she may have additional suggestions to help you and your cat. Therapeutic cat foods have unique qualities and feeding requirements. If you prefer to feed a specific form of cat food, moist, canned, dry, or both, let your veterinarian know so they can recommend a food that complements and addresses your cat's condition. Adding cat foods from the grocery or pet food store will greatly decrease the benefit of the therapeutic cat food and may compromise your cat's health. Number two, estimating how much to feed your cat on a new diet. Checking calorie counts between different foods ensures that you're feeding your cat just enough to help them thrive. Kibble calorie counts can vary widely per cup, and so can the calorie counts for raw and wet foods. But the biggest variances often occur when you switch from one food type to another. Taking time to do quick math can help ensure that you're not underfeeding or overfeeding your cat. Find out how many calories your cat is already eating, and then do the math on how much of the new food you'll need to match the exact calorie count. While it may be tempting just to follow the recommendations on the back of the bag, those recommendations are often wildly divergent from what your cat actually needs to eat. Sometimes the recommendations can be inflated by as much as 20 to 30 percent. And if your cat is significantly more active than the average feline, you might have to feed them more to maintain a healthy body weight. Number one, keep an eye on your cat. Pay close attention to your cat's behavior once they have fully transitioned to the new food. This will help you notice how well they are responding to the change. The best diets will be visible in your cat's appearance, body weight, and stool quality. Do let us know in the comments if this video helped you in transitioning your cat to a new food. Please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.